Hi, and welcome to Remster Puzzles, where I try and showcase the fun that can be had with variant Sudoku. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a puzzle called The Friendliest Unfrayed Knot by Afraid Knot. Afraid Knot is an excellent setter, and this puzzle obviously has tried to play with something really, really different, which is a variation on the friendly cells constraint. Um, and I, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one because you don't see the friendly cells constraint very often, but when it's done, it's done really well. We did one in, I think it was the KG Constraints pack, um, and yeah, it's really, really good um, because it's a very restricting constraint. This one's a little less constricting than the normal friendly cell constraint, but a lot of fun when it's done well. So uh, let's get into the rules so you can see how the friendly constraint, there is a twist on this one, uh, works. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Now, um, in a normal friendly cell, um, so each, let, let's cover this one. So each cell on the loop must contain the cell's row number, the cell's column number, the cell's box number, or the cell's position number within its own box. So, for example, um, if we were to pick on, uh, let's pick on this cell here. This cell, um, its row number is three. So this could be a three. Its column number is five. So it could be a five. Its box number is two. So it could be a two. And its position number in the box is eight. So it could be an eight. So this has could only be one of those four. So how do you count that? Well, rows are counted down. This is row one, row two, row three going down. Same with columns going left to right. Column one, column two, column three, column four, column five going right. Um, the box number is counted left to right, then top down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then cells within a box are counted the same way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they're how you count them. Um, and then those are the restrictions that must be placed on the individual lines. Now, normal friendly cells don't include position number. It's normally just row, column, and box. So that's how it works. And each of the cells on the line must follow that restriction. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Now, in the description below, you will find a link to this puzzle. And like with many of the puzzles, um, there'll be a link to this puzzle's page on Logic Masters Germany. So if you registered there, you can register yourself and leave comments and feedback there as well. So uh, I've restarted the puzzle to restart my timer. You can tell how much I'm worried about time. Let's give this a shot. So this cell is incredibly restricted because it's in box one, it's in row one, it's in column one and position one. This has to be a one. So this now, while it's in row one, it can't be a one because there's already a one in the box and row. So it can be a two because it's in column two, it's in position two, but it can't, it, row one and box one doesn't work. So this has to be a two. This one now, it's in box one, so it can't be a one. Row three, so it can be, a, uh, row one, it can't be a one. Column three and position three. So this becomes a three. So let's keep working in box one because I can't use a one in any of these cells in box one. This is in box one and row two, but it can't be a one, a one or a two. It, it's column one and it can't be a one. So it has to be its position number, which is four. This one, right. Actually, these all have to be their position number because they're all box one, uh, row one, row one, two, or three, or column one, two, or three, and one, two, and three are all taken. So these all have to be position number. So this is position six, this is position seven, this is position eight, and these are five and nine. Okay, so let's go on to here. So this one, box two, so it could be a two, row two, it could be a two, column four, it can't be a four and position four, it can't be a four. So this is a two. This one, box two, but now it can't be a two. Column five, it could be a five. Position five and row two, this has to be a five. This one is box two, but it can't be. Position eight, but it can't be. Row three and hang on. So hang on. Oh, it's. Box two, but it can't be. R row three, column five, position eight. So it's two, three, five, or eight. It can only be a three. So let's go to this one. 
because it's connected to this, which is the most popular. So it could be box four. It could be row four. So that keeps another four. It's position two, which it can't be. So row four, box four, column two or position two, but it can't be a two. So this is a four. This one, it can't be box four anymore. So these can't be box four. And these ones can't be column two. So these have to be position or row. And this is position five and row five. So this is a five. And this is position eight, which it can't be. So it has to be row, which is six. This one can't be box or row. So it has to be column or position. And it can't be column because column three is taken. This is a nine. Looking up, making that the five and that the nine. The five could have looked up doing the same thing. So do I want to look here now? Uh, maybe. So what could this be? Box five is possible. It can't be row six. It could be column four and it could be position seven. That's not that restricted. What about this one? Um, so again, box five is possible. Row four isn't. Column six is and position three is. So is it Sudoku I could do? Well, it is a bit. I could put one and seven into those because one and seven has to go into this box, but they can't be in any of those. So these become two, three, and eight. So these are triples. Do I want to mark those triples? Five, six, nine, one, three, seven, two, four, eight. It's not really helped me at all. And I don't have the same restriction up here. It's not as restricted to triples. Well, I've got six cells in this box, which is, I was about to say it's the same as I had up here, but it's not quite the same as I had up here because this has seven, not six. Okay, so what can these be? Well, these can't be their row number because they're row four. Actually, none of these can be row number because this was row four, row five, and row six, and four, five, and six are gone. So they're either box number, column number, or position number. So this is these could be six for box number. Column number would make them seven and eight, and position number would make them one and two. Box number would make these six, column would make them seven and eight, and position would make them four, but five isn't possible. And here, can't use box, can't use row, because the box is six and the row is six. Position would make them seven and eight, and column would make them seven and eight. So this is seven and eight. This is eight, this is seven. That takes seven out of those and eight out of those, which means this is the six, this is the two, the six makes this the four and this the one. And those are all forced unexpectedly. The two looks over taking two out of there. The one makes that the seven and that the one. This can't be the eight, but this one wasn't restricted. This isn't the seven anymore. This is a triple. Three, five, nine. There's no five there. There's no nine there. So there's a digit I haven't played. There's no, there's a one in one of those two. Okay. Is it these? Box number would be nine. Position number I can't do because these would be one and two and they're taken. Column number I can't do because they'd be seven, eight. And row number would be seven. Sorry, box nine. I can't do position number. I can't do column number. And row number would both be seven. So this has to be nine, which means this now has to be... No, wait. So hang on, this doesn't work. Box number... Let's do one cell at a time. Box number would be nine. Column number would be seven. Position number would be one. And row number would be seven. This has to be a nine. So what could this be? It can't be box number. It can't be column number. It could be row number now. Sorry. Um, can't be. And position number would be two. This is a seven. Right. Sorry, I got really lost in the weeds there. There's no seven here now, and there's no nine here. So what can these be? Let's finish them off. Because these can't be their row number anymore. So, or, oh no, they could be box number by being eight. So what could this one be? Box number is eight. Column number is four. Position number is one. 
This one, box number is eight, position number is two, column number is five, which it can't be. And this one, box number is eight, position number is three, column number is six. Yeah. Okay. Um, these ones, box number is eight, column number is four, position number is four. Row number is eight. This is only four or eight. And this one, box number is eight, column number is five, which it can't be. Position number is five, would it can't be, and row number is eight. This is an eight. This cell, which didn't look at, is most restricted, which makes that the four and that the two. This can't be four or eight, so that's the one. This can't be an eight, so this is a three or a six. The four looks up, making that the five, looking across, making that the three, which makes that the nine, which makes that the five. The three looks back, making that the two, and there's no two there. These are one and four. The five takes five out of there. And I'm pretty much down to Sudoku now. Eek. I wonder how hard the Sudoku is. The one looks across making this the three, which looks back making this the six and this the three, which looks back making this the eight and this the three. There's no three in any of those. This is a three by Sudoku looking down. So this is a triple, five, seven, and nine. There's no five there. So there's a five in one of those two. The six is looking back, making that the five, taking five out of those. This is a four or an eight for the row. The pair missing in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go in. Okay, so this is a triple, two, seven, eight. There's no two in either of those. That's the two. This is a seven, eight. The eight looks up making that the seven and at the eight. The seven looks down making that the nine. This is a five, seven pair. The nine looks up making that the six and that the nine. This is a pair. Six, seven, which is six and seven. This is a four because there's a one, four missing from the column, making that the one and that the four. This is a triple, one, eight, nine. There's no one there, there's no nine there, there's no eight there. Okay. Nine, 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 nine is in one of those two. Two is in one of these two. Three is in one of those two. Seven is right there. Four is down here. Four is in one of those two. Oh, I'm not getting it. Six is up here in one of those two. So these are looking a bit restricted. This is a triple. This is one, three, eight. So this is three or eight, and this is one or three. I'm not seeing it. So these are one, two, four, and nine. This can't be, so this is a two. This is a two, and this isn't the two, because it sees one, four, nine, and all of the other cells are digits in the row. This had to be one, two, four, nine. So this is one, four, nine. That's not a nine. That's any of them. Uh, this box is more open than this one, I think. So is this, see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, sorry, six and eight is what this, can't even type, six and eight is what this is. So if this is a six, six would be in one of those two. If it's an eight, nine, one, four, that doesn't work. Oh, wow, that's tricky. If this is an eight, 
yeah, if this is an eight, this becomes a nine, this becomes a one, that becomes a four, and I end up with eight, four, and I can't fill that cell. So if this is an eight, the puzzle is broken because eight, nine, one, four, eight and four, and that cell can't be filled. So that's a six. What does that do? It puts six in one of those two. So what are the four digits in here? Crikey, what? One, I need to put a two down here. These are one, two, four, eight. So this is only one or two. So eight is in one of those two. So eight is in one of those two. What are the, what's this triple now? Five, eight, nine. So these are five, eight, nine. That can't be a nine. That can't be an eight. I'm sorry, I'm finding this really tricky. Even this was a little tricky, spotting that, and I'm still stuck. Oh, the nine makes that the six and that the nine, which means this isn't the six, this is the six, meaning this has to be the three by pencil marks. Is that true? Can't put three in any of those. Yep, this is the three, looking up, making that the one, that the eight, which makes that the nine and that the one. The one looks across, making that the four, which makes that the nine. The nine makes that the five, that the eight, and that the three. This column is missing one, two, three, four, missing its five, which makes that the seven and that the five. The seven looks across, making that the one and that the seven. Uh, the one now can't be in any of those. In fact, the four looks down, making that the eight and that the four, taking the four out of those. So this has to be one and two, but there's a one looking across, making that the two, that the one. I haven't put a four in this box. The two looks across, making that the eight and that the two. That was not that tricky, but a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that one. The friendliest unfrayed knot. The ch I missed the, the six, nine resolution with the nine, but this chain here was a little tricky to spot. I think I lucked into it by looking at this cell and seeing that that six meant that this was a, f uh, would, sorry, if that was an eight, it would mean this was a four and that would be broken in that cell. I just happened to see that chain. But that sort of deduction, I, I'm not a huge fan of, but that was quite a short chain and there wasn't really, I don't know, I, I just happened to see that one, but it's not my favorite type of deduction. But the friendly cells line I thought was awesome. Thank you, Afraid Not. Great puzzle. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, good luck with your solving.